Good day, guys. Been here.、Um, previously, we did we did an exercise. We tried to、um, create a curved window and place those mullions in um, in um, in the frame, and then、uh, try to control them so they move along this curve. So,、um, but the issue we have is we. In reality, we won't use an angle to control this、um, window. We usually we use the the length, the、uh, either、um, the the length of this arc or the 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 width or the 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 cord. Okay, so today let's、um, just open this family. Oh, sorry. Open this, yeah. Open this family, and we have a、um, have a play. <laughs> okay, so first、uh, we have this family here. So、um, I'm not sure if maybe、um, yeah. I'll, I'll check if if I didn't if I didn't upload this one. So I will upload this one so you can have a have a have a play. So basically,、uh, this pretend this is a window. Okay, so. Pretend that's a window frame outside, and then these are two internal mullion. So last time we did is to create、um, some、uh, dimension and parameters. So for example, this radius and this、uh, angle to control the size. But so today we are going to so instead of use angle to control, so、um, I'll show you angle twenty twenty four. So you can see this is. The window size, but in reality we we're not going to use angle for this size. So、um, today we we will try to use、uh, the length of this arc or the width. So between between this point and this point, okay, to control the window size. So first let's try、um, try the、uh, arc, the length of the arc. Okay, so. Um, I'll just quickly bring this. So,、uh, oh, actually, let me just go to you.、Um, we have some comments here. Okay, so, okay, so these these are exactly correct. Okay, so these are the formula. So this is the formula for the arc, the relationship between the arc and the the angle. Oh, sorry, the the yeah, the angle and the radius, and also the the width of the、uh, window, the cord, the cord length equals this one. So yeah, that's all correct. So what we're going to do is that we're going to use these two formula to、um, apply it to. Oh,、uh, here your formula correct then. Yeah, apply reply. <laughs> so yeah, so.、Um, Now let's go to Revit, and we go to Family Types. So first,、uh, I'm going to create a form a, a parameter. Let's call it、um, a length of the arc arc length R A L. Let's call it A L. Okay. So length, and、uh, because because um, these um, parameter we're going to use in the formulas are instance. So we're going to use instance parameter. Okay. So And now,、um, for now, I'm going to just type in a number, so for example, one meter. Okay, and then what we need to do is we need to have so here formula under formula have this one empty. Okay, so this way we can control, we can use this formula.、Uh, sorry, we can use this parameter to control this family. So we have this empty, and we are going to put this al into. Uh, into angle here a into here, so we we need we need a formula in here. Okay, so now let's go back to this. So maybe I'll just do a screenshot. Oh, actually I did one, but this is too much. <laughs> so let's do a new one. Okay, I'll just do a screenshot of、uh, this, and we're going to use this to to、uh, to create.、Um, yeah, where is it here? Okay, oh, here. Hey, hey, sorry, <laughs> just disappear. Oh, okay. So here, arc length A L, 
equals pi. Okay, so pi divided by 180 degree times uh, times angle times r. Okay, so what we need is we need uh, a equals something something. Okay, so a here. So uh, I'll just put a here equals. I'll just move this one down there. A l divide by uh, divide by uh, 180 go up. So times 180 and come down pi times uh, r. So this is the formula. So A equals AL times 180 divided by pi times R. So we just need to put this in here. So I'll just move this on my, uh, the other screen. Okay, A equals AL times 180 degree divided by bracket pi times um, R bracket and this is it so now if i click if i click on apply and you will see this one this the length of this change and i want to double check if this the length of this arc equals one meter then it works okay so one meter so now if i change this to so for example 1.2 meter so this angle becomes 38.2 and then I'll double check. Yeah, correct. So yep, yeah, this is it. So now we can use we can use the um, the length of the arc and the radius to control the window size. Okay. Okay, so next. Now let's just uh, delete this. We're going to create another one. So this time, oh, sorry, wrong, wrong one. This time, uh, we're going to call it C. Okay, so called length. So C instance, okay. And um, I'll just type in a number for now, one meter as well. And okay. So C is from this point to this point. Okay. So the formula for this one is here so is this so if you're not sure about how we get these formulas so it's basically um, should I need to explain this as well uh, for the arc length basically it's a parameter of circle and then use percentage of this angle so angle divided by 30, 360 times pi times r equals uh equals the 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 pr the perimeter of the circle and um, how is that right oh the this r sorry so the arc length is equals this one so from this we can get we get or get this formula and for this one uh we use so basically it's this so an arc and then the circle connect this connect this and connect this right angle so we get this so this is r this is half of the angle and then we use the trigonometry in this uh, triang triangular shape so um, sine of this angle sine of this angle sine this angle so which is um, uh, half of the angle equals uh, equals uh, this one so this which is called divided by two, okay? Equals C divided by two times radius. So this is where this formula come from, okay? So let's continue. <laughs> so from this one, so I'll just write here. So called, called equals two times R times sine angle divided by two, okay? So now what we need is so i'll just go back to that uh, family types so what we need is um called yeah we we need to leave this empty so we can control this uh, parameter so we need to put in something here for the angle okay so now what we need is we need it from this one i'll just um 
get a equals what okay so now let's just move everything go down here so c divided by 2 times r equals sine a divided by 2 so which means uh, I'll just move it here so a divided by 2 equals arc sine uh, c divided by r, r 2 times r okay so a equals uh, 2 times this so arc sine c divided by 2 times r so this is a formula we need to put um, in here in here so I just move this to the other screen and type in the formula so equals 2 times arc sine bracket uh, c divided by bracket 2 times r bracket bracket okay okay so yep that's it uh, so a equals 32.26 so this should give us the chord length one meter so apply let's check so to check this one we need to um, oh, actually see here we have one meter here so from this point exactly from this point to this point so maybe we can, we can change um, this slightly um, maybe oh sorry wrong one <laughs> C twelve hundred apply, and you will see this the length uh, the the core length from this point, and to this point the um oh we don't have a dimension maybe we can apply this we can use this uh we can equal that to uh with as well equal the code so maybe we just go here type in C so the width equals C instance parameter cannot be okay that's fine because currently this is a type parameter we can't use instance parameter to control an, an a type parameter so let's cancel it for now and also uh, because this is a system parameter this is a, a, a default um, width uh, in a windows family so, oh sorry windows template so you can see you can't really edit it you can't change anything here but it's okay you can select this dimension and check this box to make it instance parameter okay so now it's instant parameter now so we can type this to uh, C and it will equal automatically equal this C so at least here it shows 1200 okay so and then so we can just you know type here different uh, width and it will automatically match so i think um yeah this should work so um i think this is it or in hell because we still have this angle angle so which which is here a degree from here to control the mullions so i think you can use the same method so trying to convert this angle into um yes i think it, oh hang on i think this can be a little bit tricky anyway but um i think this is it for today um i'm not sure if i will add another episode another video talk about this one but at least the um i think this is enough for today okay so one option is you may use the the length of the arc to control this the size of the window and another um, method is we use the width of the window to control the yeah of course control the window size and um, that's it um, if you have any questions i'll just move this back here so we can have a look again and if you have any questions please let me know i will see you next time Thank you. Bye.